I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races, you really must explain that to me, one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. What did he do to you? Before I reveal this, I'd like to make one thing very clear. Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. I have many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great, true adventure. An experience like no other, the fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell, too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. There was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. All gear had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail. His shirt, moth-eaten, seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man. Successful, esteemed, he is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment, even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. How much does he owe you? 
Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Allgeard owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Olgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. Fine. I'll go see Olgeard with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. <laughs>